let's also talk about the miracles of AI because that's what uh, the world is focused on today. And in this convergence of computing and medicine, uh, you know, what do you believe the future holds? Uh, and, and do you believe that it can meaningfully address the access and the inequity issue? Yeah, so AI is like any other tool. It is unto itself not going to be magic, but it is a very powerful tool. A, a friend of mine recently described it uh, as powerful as electricity. Uh, electricity didn't solve all of our problems, but boy, it gave us new tools and new ability to, to take on very big challenges. I think AI is going to be like that. It is going to be now up to us. AI is going to end up being in everything, in every part of our lives. It is up to us to make sure that we're using AI to improve the quality of care that doctors provide. If you think about large parts of the country, uh, people who are uh, have a trouble accessing highly trained providers, let's think about the providers that they do access, whether it's the ASHA, uh, other community workers, the people in the, in the primary health centers. How do we augment their ability using AI? How do we make them much, much better in diagnosis and offering treatment? AI has a lot of potential. It's not magic. It will use, that potential will have impact on people's lives if we use it correctly. So I'm very excited about AI, but I'm also very sober that it's only going to make a difference in people's lives if we design systems with that in mind. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.